guys, welcome back to Foss Tutors. Today we are going to be going over chapter 6, uh, which is Circles Mixed Review for End of Course Review. We are going to start with question number 5. So, question number 5 asks you to identify the radius and center of the circle, um, whose equation is this. So, I should remind you that the center of a circle is H, K, and uh, this is H and this is K. So that would end up being uh, one half and uh, negative one fourth. Right now for the radius, how do we find the radius? Now the radius, remember that this number right here is uh, squared. So the reverse of a square, which you do to find the, the answer, the reverse of a square is by finding the root. So the root of one eighth, also written as Radical of one, root of one over root of eight equals one over two root of two. And that should be your radius. And this is your center. Okay, so now we are going to go over number 13. So number 13 asks you that, well, it gives you the situation that if a circle has a radius of three and, and, ha and a half feet, um, how long is the diameter? So remember that the radius is half the length of the diameter. So you're basically just going to multiply three and a half times two. Right, yes. So um, if you have trouble multiplying fractions, I'll easily break it down to you and you know try to jog up your memory. So three, you're, you're gonna multiply um, the coefficient times the times the denominator, so 3 times 2 equals 6, and plus 1 gives you 7. So 7 over 2 times 2, remember that each number has an imaginary one denominator, so it would be time, it would be 2 over 1, and you're just going to multiply that across, 7 times 2 gives you 14, and uh, 2 times 1 gives you Two. So 14 divided by 2 gives you 7, and 7 is going to be your answer. Okay, so question number 15. So question number 15 is asking you to find the equation using um, the points of the center. So um, remember that the equation is, um, is x minus, minus, k, minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, right? Okay, so you're basically just going to plug these in um, where they correspond. So uh, x goes in where h, so this would be x plus 8 squared plus, um, plug in the 5, y minus 5 squared equals r squared r squared r squared and which of these fits that in this would be the which one corresponds it can either be no it's h it's h on this paper you put i that is your answer guys i'm jake from ponce tutors and now we can do number 21 so for this question, it's asking you what is the length of the arc AB to the nearest tenth, tenth of an inch? And for this question, it specifically says to use pi equals 22 over 7. Now we all should know that the arc length formula is the degrees over 360 times 2 pi r. So that means 70 over 360 times 2. 22 over 7, because this question wants you to use 22 over 7, times r, our radius, which is 3. So now you're going to do this. All right. So this means that 70 over 360, since it has two zeros at the end here, you can just cancel across these two zeros out. So that would mean, oh, and then for over here, you will have to distribute that. So 6 times 22 over 7, which equals 18.9. So now let's bring it back together now. So 
7 over 36 times 18.9. And now this would equal... Okay, I got it right. And this would equal 3.67, which would round it off to 3.7, which is answer D, 3.7.